Okay, so today we're talking about how to write a great CV. It's the first of a two-part blog. Uh, we'll talk about uh, the six key elements of a CV. Um, but first of all, you have to understand that the basics, it must be two pages and it must be clear, concise font. No, nothing flowery, no pictures, no colour. The first section is name and contact details. Put them at the top, uh, clear. Um, You'll find that some recruiters, whenever they send your CV through, will rip your contact details out and put their logo in it. So this allows you to maintain the integrity of the structure of your CV. Uh, just a little note on emails as well. Um, make sure that you have um, a sort of professional looking email and not your nickname or something like that, which is funny to your mates at school or university. Uh, then straight into a summary section, which must be fact based, just to state I am a Whatever, you, whatever your job title or functional title is, then uh, the number of years experience in whatever industry you've worked in and leave it at that. It's just a precursor to what the person's about to read in the rest of the CV. Main content of your CV is your career history. Start off with most recent first and then uh, include your, the dates just in terms of the years, your job title, the company, Importantly, put a summary of the company. This then puts your role in scope and scale. It's the difference between being a sales manager of a two million pound business and a 20 million pound business. So give a little bit of information about what the company is and then straight into the bullet points, which we'll talk about in the next blog, uh, which list your achievements and responsibilities. Then do that for your subsequent, all your, all your jobs going further down. Then you have an education section. Simply list out the year you got the uh, qualification, the qualification itself and the awarding institute. So it might be a university or a college or, or a professional organisation. In my opinion, you don't necessarily need to list your A-levels or GCSEs or 11 plus or things unless they're required or unless it's part of the, the, the qualification required for the job. Towards the end of your CV you would have an interest section. I'm ambivalent towards this. I wouldn't necessarily uh, recommend it for everybody. If your only interests are long walks with the dog, socialising with friends and cooking, leave it out. It's, it's generic, it's boring, everybody can put that in. If you have particular achievements in the arts or in uh, sporting endeavours and things, by all means include that. Um, but otherwise, leave the section out. So the sixth point is referees. Coming at the end of your CV, you don't need to list them out, just simply state references available on request. That's it, shouldn't be over two pages, simple. 